And by letting them go ahead and doing it, they'll have questions asked and you'll be right there to reassure them and answer their inquiries. Because questions usually only come up when you're in the middle of doing things. So getting them to do it while you're sitting next to them watching them is very important. Hey guys, what's up? In this video, we'll be talking about how to go ahead and scale out your agency or your e-commerce business by hiring media buyers and how you go ahead and go through that whole process. And if you guys watch the very end, I teach you guys how to go ahead and scale out your agency, your e-commerce brand, how to go ahead and hire your second, third, fourth media buyer for your company. Before we get to the video, let's announce last week is winners for $1,000 worth of courses or consulting calls with me. The winners here. All you have to do to qualify is drop a comment below, like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, follow me on Instagram, and I'll be picking the best comment every single video. Other than that, let's get right into the video. How to hire a media buyer. When it comes to growing your agency and growing your e-commerce company, finding someone to run your advertisement is very important, but at the same time very difficult, because that's one of the most hardest role, and that's sort of the role that generates all your money. And that's sort of the hardest role to let go and trust someone to do. And that's why I want to go ahead and create a whole video basically dedicated to this one topic. So when you go ahead and hire a media buyer, you want to actually not hire someone who knows how to run Facebook ads. You want to hire someone who's kind of from the industry, but doesn't really know media buying. When I talk about media buying, I'm talking about running Facebook ads, Google ads, etc. Quick pause, so a lot of people might ask what a media buyer is. Basically, a media buyer is someone whose main focus in the company is to buy media. Now, what does that even mean? What does buying media mean? So buying media means someone who basically buys media. And when we talk about media, we're referring to Facebook advertising, Google advertising, YouTube advertising, and this is basically media on social media. If you're able to buy impressions, buy presence for the brand, you're a media buyer. So basically, if you're a Facebook advertiser, you're a Google advertiser, all these different terms, that just means media buyer as a whole. When it comes to finding a media buyer, I think the best thing to do is find someone local. It's a bit harder to find someone online but if you're more experienced when it comes to hiring, because I've hired tons of people online, so I probably do have the experience to find someone online, but when it comes to media buying, you're definitely looking for someone who's very more trustworthy, just because they're dealing with your credit cards, they're spending your money, and it's a much more difficult role. So you definitely wanna look for someone with experience. Given that, what I'd recommend you to do is work with referrals or work with someone that you've worked with over a long period of time that you can trust. And that's sort of the best way when it comes to finding a media buyer. All you can do is just go on Upwork, Fiverr, and just hire someone that has Facebook ads experience and go through a ton of them. After five, six, seven, eventually you'll find one that is perfect for your needs. And that's how you go ahead and hire a media buyer. So that's just a quick info on what a media buyer is what they do and how to go ahead and hire them. Enjoy the rest of the video. Basically, you wanna look for people who sort of, you know, have owned their own clothing brand, maybe their email marketer, maybe their own or grow Instagram pages where they're sort of in this sort of field, they don't specifically know how to run advertisement. You wanna look for people who are smart, loyal, and trustworthy because if you can teach someone to run Facebook ads, they can just go off and use all your strategies and build up their own agency or run their own e-commerce store. And that's the last thing you want. That's why these three criteria are really important. And what you really want to focus on is hiring someone that's smart. Because training someone to be good at Facebook ads is doable. Like that's the easy part. But training someone to be smart is not. So you want those three criteria to be the main three criteria, not being are you good at Facebook ads. Like you don't want that to be a criteria. How you go ahead and find out if they match these three criteria, you can start asking questions during your interview process. Like one, we treat clients' ad spend money as if it was our own. What does that mean to you? And have you ever done something like this before? So that's sort of how you get the morals of the people you're interviewing and employing. Now, you wanna teach and train everyone from the ground up. And I'll be showing you guys basically everything through that whole process. So one, what you can do is you can have them watch you. Two, you can also have them go through a course that you might like 
course that taught you Facebook ads that you really enjoy. Three, you could send them to very good Facebook groups such as Facebook ad leaks, e-com empires, and all these Facebook groups where it provides a lot of information when it comes to Facebook advertising and media buying. You want to get them to read and ask questions on the groups. Four, you want them to sit with you to show them how you would like it done. Because every single person, just like me, has their own preferences. And that's what you're going to show them how you would like it to be done. You're already going to go through campaigns every single day. Why not just have someone sit next to you and just show them how it's done and you're basically killing two birds with one stone. You're one, fixing up a client's campaign or launching your own campaigns and two, you have someone sitting, watching and learning from you. Another example is you could actually film. If you're going to do something, you might as well film it and create a video tutorial out of it. And that's how you kill two birds with one stone. Five. Now after you show them a few examples, you want to sit next to them. You want to have put them into the seat. You sit next to them, be hands off and watch them do what you just taught them. Application is the best way to learn. And by letting them go ahead and doing it, they'll have questions asked and you'll be right there to reassure them and answer their inquiries. Because questions usually only come up when you're in the middle of doing things. So getting them to do it while you're sitting next to them watching them is very important. Now if they're virtual, Skype screen share. Skype screen share your screen, you do it, then you get them to share their screen and watch them do it on their computer. Six. As I said previously, you could film video training modules, step-by-step -step and easy to follow guides where they can get right into it. Have it very structured where they'll be able to slowly pick it up on their own just following your step-by-step -step module and guides. You want to basically create a plug and play effect. Now why don't you want to hire someone with experience when it comes to Facebook advertising? If you hire someone with experience, they will not be doing it the way you want it to be done. And two, they'll have bad habits and that's just going to annoy you. And as a boss, you have your own criteria and rules and if they're not followed, it's going to affect the whole flow of the company and business. So that's why you don't want to hire someone with already existing Facebook knowledge. You want to train someone from the ground up to make sure that there aren't any bad habits because fixing bad habits is way harder than creating good habits. Now, how to go ahead and scale. When you want to go ahead and scale, what you can do is when you hire your second media buyer, you want to get the first one to train the second one. And that's why you want to put all your energy into that first media buyer, make them perfect, because that's going to translate onto how good your second media buyer is. Now, you might say, you know, how do I teach creative and ad copy? Because showing someone how to edit a good video, how to make a good photo, how to write out a good ad copy, that's super hard. You yourself probably don't even do those things that much because when you're that big, all your money comes from media buying and running Facebook ads. And as a result, you outsource your creative, you outsource your ad copies, and you wanna outsource it to like creative agencies or ad copy agencies. And then the media buying, which is the most important, and as I'll repeat again, this is where you'll make your money. You wanna outsource what you're not good at, which is creatives and creating ad copies, and then hand off the remainder, which is the Facebook ads to your media buyer. That's literally everything from A to Z, how to go ahead and hire a media buyer. I know a lot of people want to hire a media buyer, but they're scared too because they don't want to give off that control, but that's needed in order to scale. Question of the day, will you hire someone to take over your Facebook ads? Give me your thoughts, give me your questions, let me know if you're able to learn something from this video. If you guys want the slides completely for free, they're in the description below. As usual, I don't charge anything for them. I know a lot of people want these slides because they want to have it handy on their computer. So maybe they're offline, maybe they're on their phone. They're able to go ahead and go through these slides and read through it. Because a lot of people aren't sort of visual or hearing type of learners and they like to read things. And that's exactly why I provide these slides completely for free. As well as I just want to over provide you guys with value. Be sure to get the slides below. I hope you guys have been enjoying these sort of presentation type of videos. Um, I'm basically giving information that should be in a course. Like this information is info I've learned from thousands of dollars worth of masterminds and courses. And I'm just giving it away to you guys for free. And I hope you guys are taking this in and appreciating this value because not many people are revealing this amount of information. So if you guys are appreciating this, please just drop a comment below 
like the video, hit the subscribe button, that helps, and share my channel. I really want to grow my channel and basically take over the informational niche in YouTube by out providing everyone with value. Furthermore, I'll be answering every single comment, so drop your comments below. I haven't failed to answer any single comment at all. Even if this video is a year old, you still have a chance of being picked to win my competition because I'm picking comments every single day, no matter if it's a comment on a recent video or a comment on an old video, your comment can still be chosen. So be sure to drop an awesome comment below. And that's the video. That's how you go ahead and scale your agency or your e-commerce business by hiring media buyers. And that's how you go ahead and find who to hire, how to train them, and how to scale. This video had everything. So thank you so much guys for investing your time into watching this video. I really appreciate it. And yeah, thank you so much. Hope you guys have an amazing day. I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow with more value. Peace.